torn between two people who should you pick that's the third party situation we're looking at you've got two people around maybe one's next maybe one's someone new you know what your situation is but there's two people that you like yeah i like them and i like them i like them both what am i gonna do so we're gonna try and find you some clarity today um i hope the right person <clears throat> claims the reader my voice is completely going so i hope the right person claims the right reading if you claim this reading uh, put a like on it um, you'll see that you've liked it. I'll see that someone out there has claimed it. And I do hope the reading helps you in some way. It's up to you to trust your intuition of which tarot reading is for you and what isn't. So you've got two interested parties. You're kind of on the fence. You like a bit about both. Who's offering what, you know? Sometimes people offer us something and we're like, yeah, but is that really? Is that, is it really? You know? bit doubt here on your part <clears throat> so i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind being drawn towards this one so what i'm going to do is and this side is one of them down the middle is you down the other side is the other person and it's up to you to decide which is which um because you know them so one of them's probably an ex someone's caused a lot of pain or they've been in a lot of pain there's been some kind of self-sabotage betrayal or a uh, completion here with this person on this side um so it could be an ex it could just be someone who you've been connected with for a while and it's got quite toxic um it could be that they betrayed you or you betrayed them, but there's just, there's a mess. And down the middle is you. You've got the justice card reversed. You don't know what way to pick. You don't know which one to go with, uh, which makes perfect sense. You've got the five of cups with this other person, which is about learning from the past. <clears throat> so it's like all of the cups up there that are spilt. And then you've got two cups sat down there. So there's something that you're trying to get that you can't quite reach, but it's all spilled anyway. You've got two cups right down there that are completely full and full of abundance and, and have all of the things, but you can't see it. Um, so the person over here, you may not be given a completely fair shot because of the messy connection you've got with the one over here. And you're feeling pulled between both of them. The justice card's in the middle and it's reversed. It's like trying to work out you know what's the lies what's where's the equality um you know all of those things feeling like you can't just leave it up to chance you have to try and make the right decision you're feeling pulled um the person on this side has the page of wands reversed which is they have quite um selfish qualities about themselves they can sometimes be a bit shallow they can sometimes you can end up questioning them, wondering whether they're actually loyal to you or not. Um, you're in the middle, the eight of wands. Then the other person has the four of swords. So it's almost like when this person's over here claiming all of your attention, you're not giving the person over here any attention at all. And this person feels really quite direct, uh, rejected. They may be aware that there's someone else around or they just may feel that sometimes you completely freeze them out. Um They've got a lot to offer, but I don't think that you're looking at them in that kind of way. Um, because when this person's messaging you, you're quite happy to exchange messages with them. But I've got a feeling that when they message you, it's about them, about them, what they want, um, their ego, maybe. Uh, and that you give them their attention, you give them attention, you give them the attention. You, you go along with it there's there's some kind of feeling there but then this feeling person feels left out uh the magician reversed you have the page of swords reversed you're gonna have to break a promise to you, to someone this person over here has the magician reversed which is a hesitancy you may offer them something and then they like they back out or they offer you something and then they back out it's it's a bit of a game. It's a bit of a, can they keep you interested? And 
But all the time that they're keeping you interested, maybe you're missing out on people who genuinely have something really nice to offer you. Um, you're going to have to break a promise to someone with the Page of Swords for you when it's reversed. Um, I don't know what promises you've made to this person, but I've got a feeling the broken promise is going to be over here because they came into the reading as the Swords and it's almost like, yeah. Um, the other person genuinely wants to make plans with you. Like This person feels rejected sometimes. They feel like you don't want to know them. They feel like... They could offer you a lot, but you don't really see it. But they, they want to make plans with you. The Two of Wands is all make, make, about making plans for the future and actually following them, them through. Um, This person is very good at getting your attention, very good at getting your time, but then they just disappear again. It's kind of like they're there, but they're out of reach. They're not within your reach. And because they're kind of lingering around, it's totally stopping you from having something really nice and rewarding and something that looks like a genuine relationship and plans and movement and holidays and all of these nice things that this person over here could offer yeah I've got the emperor I've got the three of pentacles reversed and you've got the six of pentacles again this person has a lot to offer you they have a lot to offer you um, it's give and take with them. What they put in, what you put in, it's all fair share. Um, Three of Pentacles reversed is you feeling a resentment. And the Emperor over here is like, no, I want your attention again. Come back here. It's almost like every time you're just moving off, up they pop. They want your attention. They want it to go a certain way. And then like, they leave you on your own and you get distracted and then they're like, oh, no, 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 come back again. And it, you know, How many times can you do that? All I know is this person here has a lot to offer. They really do. Um, over here is a relationship. Over here is someone who's thinking about themselves. And you are confused and you don't know what to do and... The longer this goes on, the more you're going to resent them because you're missing out. You are missing out. And this may not be the first time you've missed out on someone new because of this person. So I just want you to have a little think about that. Um, so I'm going to end the reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bob of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you've made it to this point, well done. You're now part of the Purple Heart Gang. If you see Purple Hearts on my channel, you now know what they mean. And I will see you very soon.